What's going on boys and girls? We're going to do a quick chicken recipe. We're going to cook chicken two ways. You know, a chicken is a very versatile bird. You can cook it, fry it, bake it, saute it, boil it. You know, it's just such a versatile bird and it's fairly healthy if you don't just, you know, just mess it up too much and add a bunch of flour and things like that. But we're just going to put spices on this and one of them we're going to bake in the oven, one of them we're going to fry it, but we're not going to bread it and fry it. So, and then we're going to show you what we're going to do with it afterwards. Hopefully this won't be a long video. Alrighty, we have started out with our two chickens here. These right here we're going to bake in the oven with some rosemary and some spices. A lot of these spices right here we're going to use, which includes uh, garlic and garlic powder, rosemary, mustard, um, white pepper, some mustard, some hot sauce, and some lemon um, lemon juice, and some extra virgin olive oil. We've got our cookie sheet um, sprayed with some coconut oil, and we've got our frying pan right here already. It's already starting to smoke, so we better get at it. Alrighty, we're also going to use a little bit of Himalayan salt. We're going to start by salting it on Got to be kind of liberal with this salt here. You don't want to put too much. And we're going to put all our spices. That white pepper, guys, you really have to be careful using that white pepper because it will light you up And I put too much up there. Then we're going to put our mustard up there. I'm going to put our garlic powder up there as well, too. And then we'll transfer this over to our cookie sheet. Bunches of rosemary. Rosemary, it's a great spice. And then we will transfer it over to the cookie sheet, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. But we're not going to show that part because you kind of know that. All right, once you get everything spiced up, guys, if you're going in the oven with these, I usually will take some coconut oil, and I'll spray the outside of them so they'll be a little bit crispy. And these only need to cook for about... For, for about uh, 40 minutes or so, 40 to 45 minutes. So we're going to pop those in the oven. All righty, the next part of this video is going to be easy. We're not even going to bread these wings. We're just going to put them in there dry pretty much. And we're not going to put a whole lot of them in there. So two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're about to set the house on fire. Maybe not, maybe not. Now, a lot of times that happens when you have too much moisture in those wings and the heat's kind of on the high side. So, those bubbles will actually, they'll actually go away. All right. We we're just having disaster after disaster. Nothing happened there. Again, that was just moisture that was coming off the chickens. It's frying fine now. But now we're going to make a sauce here, guys. And what we're going to do, this is this is homemade. I've done it several times, and I use about the same proportions every time, and I always eyeball it. But I'll put a little bit of olive oil in there, and that's probably about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. I'll put about the same amount of hot sauce. So about three tablespoons of hot sauce. I'm giving away my secret because this sauce always comes out good. Um, just about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Not that much. I'm use some mustard as well. Shake that mustard up. And we're going to use about maybe a tablespoon to two tablespoons of mustard. And then we're going to put our spices in there. You use a lot of garlic in there. You can use a lot of rosemary in there if you want to. You can use thyme. Any spice. Again, I'm cooking this a specific way. But you know I normally would use my Tony Saturys. And we talking about my Tony Saturys now. because You know I like my Tony Saturys. And use some white pepper. Again, be careful with that because that is spicy, spicy. And then we're going to use a little bit of... Uh, Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt's good for you. And we're just going to mix that up, guys. Going to mix that up real thoroughly here. And this is the sauce that's going to go on our chicken once it's done. 
and got this stuff right here is going to be delicious i promise you i've made it a bunch of times and it's always good and again if you have some other things that you like to go in your sauce i've put ketchup in it before and the ketchup makes it taste real good as well too all righty these things have been in here for about 10 minutes or so and they're done i checked the temperature with my handy little thermometer here i'm just going to put them in here and i think you know the way it bubbles up like that sometimes too guys is i think it's because of the coconut oil too using the coconut oil and then we're going to let that go back to um, the cooking temperature and we're going to put some more in there and then we'll come back once they're done all right guys we got our chicken wings done and we almost had a little disaster y'all because um you know those bubbles that came out of that oil when we were cooking a little while ago um that was actually grease and it was going down inside of the little the little holding pan and i guess it got too hot down there and that stuff caught on fire and i'm sitting here saying okay i gotta keep my cool gotta keep my cool gotta re gotta be calm where's the fire extinguisher where's the fire extinguisher couldn't find it couldn't think of where it was i know where it is now but um i said what else puts out fire i said i know you don't put water on it I mean, it didn't get too high. It didn't burn nothing or nothing like that. So um, I was like, I know you don't put water on it. Flour, flour. So guys, keep that flour around. That flour will put it out every time. But anyway, I said we're going to make a long video. We're going to take our little grease catching cloth here. We're going to take that off. Can y'all see real well? Okay. We're going to add our, our marinade to our wings here. And let's get my little favorite spatula. I love this thing. I love that it gets everything out. Cause I don't like, I don't like to waste nothing y'all, you know? So I'm gonna get that out. And that way you're not wasting a lot. I mean, there's still, I guess if you wanted to really be a stickler about it, could lick, the, lick that out. I'm gonna take these wings here. Sometimes you just do them just like this. Just make sure they're all coated. These are great, and the other wings are done as well. I'm gonna take those out of the oven. Alrighty, there you go. The two versions of the wings right there. They're all done. We got the um, um, the boneless one, not the boneless one, the um, batterless ones here that are in the marinade and we got the rosemary covered ones that are from the uh, from the oven and thanks for watching the video i'm not gonna make no more videos today because i've just had a disaster saturday i mean i mean it could have been worse but <laughs> it's been crazy peace y'all